This is part two of the OBS Classic versus OBS Studio and yesterday we finished off where we looked at loading two images and the first part today is looking at cropping an image should we wish to do so. So in OBS Classic we need to click Edit Scene and we'll see we have a very faint red outline with little red squares. Now if we click left mouse button and drag we can make the image go bigger and smaller. We covered that yesterday in the previous video. Now if we want to crop that image what we need to do here is hold down the Alt key and left mouse button key and then we can drag in the image to make it a different crop size and that's how we do it. After that you can make it bigger. Now at this stage we're trying to get to a level where we're choosing either OBS Classic or OBS Studio. Right clicking we can see there are some options so you can look at position and size and we can reset the size, reset the cropping. What I want to do is go over to OBS Studio because this is profoundly different. So the first thing is that when we, I'm just going to click Edit Scene and Stop Preview to focus on the right image. So We've already loaded the image, we can click on it and we once again get the red outline and slightly different um, red circles. You can see that all of them size it. Now the opportunity comes where OBS Studio is at a level where it does not operate the same. So if we right click we need to add a filter to do the cropping. We need to add a crop. OK and we get this. Uh, remember this is a beta product for free and it's very much a work in progress. It's a very easy thing to do once you get this far. So if we want to add the cropping and the shortcut to this is to add something in there. So let's say I'm going to type 100 and what you'll notice, uh, let's make that bigger, let's type 400 and you can see that from the left it's coming 400. So what I've found is that if you do, and I'm going to type in 400 for all of them, 400. Now you can see it's changed, you can see at the top there that um, it's just cut off the top. So, so what I need to do is to go into the arrows and you'll notice that uh, there's an up and a down and then once I can roughly get into it I can keep dialing and you can see that it's a bit hit and miss. But the, the issue that I've come with is, is a really simple thing and that is that if you bring an image to any OBS, whether that's classic or studio, already prepared then you do not need to mess around too much with the cropping. That's the, the message. It's a bit like saying eating a chicken dinner. What arrives on your plate is hopefully some nice sliced chicken breast, say for an example, not a whole chicken that you've got to carve up. That's imaging. We can mess around an awful lot in OBS Studio with it. And when I say that, um, there are lots of filters to add. In the next part of this session, we're going to deal with webcams. So in OBS Classic, right click, add a video capture device. OK, I've got two choices here. I've got the inbuilt laptop, but I'm going to use a Logitech webcam attached via USB port. At the moment, all I'm going to do is click to select it and then notice that the audio is disabled. It automatically comes in as a video capture device, not with audio. So I can choose two different microphones. For this purpose, I'm going to leave it disabled. OK. Now what happens once again when you're looking into OBS Classic is it's blank and then we need to preview the stream. And you can see it looks like that. Now for the purpose of this, we can one click edit and we can just make sure that the webcam is available. You can see that if I put my hand literally uh, in here, it's just a webcam shooting through the wall with, with a sign. So what we can do, I'm just going to turn off for the purpose of this, the image. So I want to position the webcam somewhere. And there it is, 16 by 9, automatic, and it's full screen. If I want to look at the cropping once again, I can edit the scene, and I can hold down Alt, and I can crop it. So for an example, I can say I just want to bring the, the top off, say all the way down, because I just want to have a part of the sign. And then I can bring it up, and let's say I wanted to position my webcam at the top there, and then if I wanted just a point, with my finger, the laptop show. And that's it. So if we right click, we can look at the properties and we can 
have lots of other bits and bobs in here, especially uh, the audio. Going over to, and I'm just going to turn that off to stop the preview, remember, and then go over to OBS Studio. And this time we can look at, I'm going to turn it off to start with, right click, add a video capture device. And in the same way, this is slightly different in that we can drop down to select either the inbuilt or the webcam, but you'll notice that it's come in as 4x3 immediately. And also we've got a couple of warnings here. One is the FPS frames per second and also the video format is readied out. So what I found with this is we could, if we wish to, um, click down to resolution FPS type and click custom. The moment you click on custom, the resolution is offered to you, but you'll notice that the webcam has stopped. So we need to drop down, we need to select something, and I'm going to just drop down a lower resolution of something like um, 1280 by 720. And then the moment we do that, the FPS and the video format is blacked out. In other words, it's happy and it's good. And then we can click OK. Then in the same way, we can start moving this around. And remember, if we wanted to crop, we have to right click, add a filter, and that's it for this video. What we've looked at is the difference between OBS Classic and OBS Studio. And I'm only going to do one more of these videos looking at comparing the two before you can make a choice. And I work on videos, which is the advanced use of OBS Studio.